Right, back on folks. So I've come down what I think might be a shortcut. That wasn't my plan. I don't do shortcuts. I want to do the whole route. But at the end of the day, it might have saved me a bit. But then it's, it's, it's a type of cheating, isn't it? That's what I think. Because I, I still don't know if this is Paradise Coombe. Look, that is now taking me down there. So what we're going to do, we're going back down. I'm going back down because I need to know. Is there, is, you know, it's, there's a gate there. See? So when, when you think you're saving time, what it was, that track, I don't really know. It's very, very unclear. Because obviously that is a way up. But I really wanted to I follow love these the sheep, you know. They're almost looking like I'm a nutter or what are you doing, Sheila? I'll be all right, okay? It's very boggy down there, so I'm not too worried about walking down that bit. This has got to be it. They should have really put another... It's very misleading though, because you can have footpaths, public footpaths, going off in all directions. You see what I mean? Um, so it's very misleading. Very. But I decided, I met the track I would have come down if I'd gone on down. It's a bit misleading. I was expecting to see Paradise Coombe signs. So, didn't take long to get here, it's not far. I haven't got, I've got to go uphill, I know I have, but... I don't mind exploring, but that does look boggy down there. <sighs> there was a gate though. What I'm going to do in a minute, I'll see where there's a post and then there was a gate. <sighs> there's also the track that carries on up. So, it's, it's just... I'm just going to turn off and look at the map again. Hold on. Right then. Right, no sign. There might have been a pole there with a sign on. I mean, you, you do get... Some people just like destroying signs. Ah, look at that lovely... Those lovely tall trees though. Right, so I came... Now, if I'd come in reverse, I wouldn't have known where to go here, really. There's no proper path, is there? I mean, it's only because I know. I've seen that. But it's quite dark when you enter. I would have thought, do I have to go over there? You know, it's, it's very, very unclear, this bit, for anyone doing it reverse. Right, so, this must be it. One way that way, one way the other. I uh, presume this is it. I'm going up anyway now. <sighs> Little steps. Paradise crew, I reckon. And somewhere down there is the start. I must have missed it somehow. It wasn't very clear. It was very boggy down there as well. This looks like the main way to come though, if you come the route I've come. That's probably another way to get to it, if you come in by that Thorncombe house down there. I expect there's a lot of confused people. I wouldn't be the first to have uh, wondered what was happening there. I wouldn't have been the first. So, folks. Paradise lost, you could call it, wouldn't you? Eh? Maybe Milton did come here. A lot of poets did come here. I'm not sure about Wordsworth and Coleridge. I expect they did. I expect they've done all these combs. Getting inspiration for their poems. 
Yeah. <coughs> so I'm glad I've not checked the time. I'm not going to look at the time till I get to Hull's Way or till I get to the top. I won't, I won't wait until I get to Hull's Way Post. With the mist coming down, um, I might disguise some of the landscape that I do know when we get further up. But this is definitely a coom. And um, we're going up it. It could be 10 o'clock now. Even up past. And the hordes. And it's a Saturday. So people could start appearing any minute now. I thought I'd video a bit of it, everyone, because this is new to me. It's a bridal way. I haven't seen one sign telling me it's the coom yet. So... We'll just have to plod on up. I can hear a stream. I can hear some birds. This will be a climb now. There's a bit of climbing today, quite a bit of climbing today. It's a climbing day. You go down, you know you've got to go up. Already. I've come quite a way up. If you think how steep it's going to be, it's going to be like Big Nolacoom, gradually going up and up. Not vertical, a steady climb up. That is what it's going to be. And I know I'm getting hot with the coat and jumper on. At the moment, the coat's useful because it's holding the map and everything. I won't need the map probably now because I know once I get up here, I know Thorn Thorncombe Hill. Thorncombe House is down the bottom there. Thorncombe Hill is up the top. Off, It's off um, Paradise Coombe. We think. We know. I've, I've looked at the map. I'm glad I brought the map, actually. I'm glad I did a little bit of map. It was useful on this occasion. And I do tend to do this. I print off a section. I didn't do a, a route march. Just looking at the map. Those tracks that were, that were clearly labelled, um, but I had to make sure of them. I didn't see any sign of a stream though. At the moment, because it's quite shaded, I mean it was a toss up whether to bring a smaller coat. You can't tell. The weather can change by four o'clock in the afternoon. And I might have been grateful. I have put a smaller coat on, um, jumper. I put a summer, a summer type jumper on 
which could also come off to be quite honest. Ah, there's a bit of a stream percolation through the moss there, look. Yeah. I'm going to turn off for a little while now everyone, come back on again.